What's great about this is that you can see the background video through the text cutout. And you can do this by using PowerPoint. A size like this would be great for title size. So they create a wow factor and get your audience excited. So let's jump right into how to do it. In order to create this effect, I have to have three items. From the bottom, I have a video clip here. Then I have a rectangular shape. Then I have a text box. So I'm going to do this part on a new slide here. So I'm going to insert the, the video clip and need to go to uh, insert video. And I have a video on my computer, so a video on my PC. And select it. There are two options. Insert a link to file. I am going to choose insert and click. And this way now this video clip is part of this PowerPoint file. It's integrated into the PowerPoint file. On the other hand, linked means that PowerPoint file and the video clip are separate files. For simplicity and easy management, I, I just wanted to keep everything into one file. So now I need to select the video clip and go to the playback tab. And here, start automatically so that the video clip will start playing automatically. Then check loop until stop because I want it to loop back to the beginning and keep playing as long as I'm on this slide. Because I might stay on this slide for a long time. So now I'm going to create a rectangular shape. Uh, to make it, I need to go back to home and go to shape and choose a rectangle and draw it. And I want it to be white, so I'm gonna go to um, shape format and shape style. And I don't want the line, so no line. And fill cutter, I want it to be white. I'm not gonna stop here, and I'm gonna use a gradient fill. And this is a default gradient pattern or design. This default setting is not going to work for me, so uh, well, I need it to be linear. Uh, the direction has to be this. I don't need this many. All right, so this uh, this marker, this marker right here, corresponds to the cutters right here, and this marker here corresponds to the cutter right here around here. And this marker corresponds to the cutter around here. So I'm going to adjust the cutter and transparency for those three points. For, for this, this area, it has to be white. So I'm going to use a, a choose white. And I want it to be totally opaque. So transparency is zero. And on this side here, I want it to be white as well. So I'm going to change it to white. And for transparency, I want it to be semi-transparent. So let's see, 22 looks good to me. And here, this part, I want it to be white as well. So I'm going to change it to white and uh, transparency zero, or maybe it can be like five. Yeah, that looks good, perfect. Now what I need is a text box and text box can be found right here. Or you, if you happen to go back to home tab, you can find it from shapes. So let's do it and draw a text box. For this demonstration, I'm going to, I'm going to just type text. And I like the font grotesque condensed bold. And I'm going to make it larger. I'm going to center it. And that looks good. At this point, if I go to a uh, slideshow view, it plays a video, but the text is just a black text. So now what I need to do is first select the, the rectangular shape. Then I also need to select the text box together with the rectangular shape. To do that, I need to press the shift or control key. I'm going to use a control. Then 
click on the text box. Now both the rectangular shape and the text box are selected together. What's important about this here is that you have to select the rectangular shape first, then the text. The order of selection is important here. Now you go to Shape Format, then go to Merge Shapes, then choose Subtract. Voila! As you can see, it cut out this text shape from this rectangular shape. Now if you go to Slideshow Mode again, voila! You can see the background video clip through the text cutout. Awesome! So why don't you try this for your next presentation, have some fun, and impress your audience.